How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today I'm going to be detailing you all my first 48 hours on the COVID-19 vaccine. Out of the vaccines that are available to the public, I specifically got the Pfizer vaccine. So if you are curious about the Pfizer vaccine, this is the video you want to be at. But if you are curious about the side effects of the other vaccines, I mean, the Pfizer is a really good model because they're all pretty similar in side effect profile. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've seen a lot of misinformation and mistrust going on about the COVID-19 vaccines. And I wanna kind of debunk those myths, not by just providing scientific data that a lot of people have been doing. You can get that information from other YouTubers, other scientists, Dr. Fauci himself, but I really want to show the humanistic part of getting the vaccine and just detailing my side effect experience and whether or not I felt good or bad, just to alleviate some concerns that people might have. Some people have very legitimate concerns about the vaccine, especially because of how there's been a lot of racist undertones when it came to the beginning stages of it, when those French doctors basically exclaimed that they were going to test on Africans. So I do understand why there's a huge amount of distrust of these vaccine because of how it even started. But also the systematic medical racism and medical experimentation on people of color that have taken place over the last 100 to 200 years in the scientific community. But I do want to be a vaccine advocate. I really think these vaccines, besides from what those French doctors did, is very, very well suited for everyone, including people of color. That's why I'm making this video so you can see with your own eyes what it's like to get the COVID-19 vaccine and make a decision for yourself to get this so that you can protect yourself and protect the health of others. Hey y'all, hi, good morning. Um, I've just woken up and we are going to go and get the vaccine today, hopefully over at Grady Hospital. Um, it's around 10 o'clock right now. We're gonna go around the afternoon with my friend in med school. So I'm very excited. Yeah, it's a big day. It's a huge day. Um, yeah. I picked my friend up at around 12 p.m. in the afternoon, and then we drove to Grady Hospital. And around 1 p.m., we walked in to the vaccine clinic at Grady and got our shots. It was only a five-minute wait for us because right now in Georgia, not many people are getting the vaccine. It's only people over the age of 65, uh, first responders, and uh, medical staff so there wasn't much of a line at all we went in we got our shots uh we were given some detailed instructions actually when we were there um they gave us a full disclosure about the vaccine what's in the vaccine i mean you can look at it later um, on google what's in the vaccine but they also told us some common side effects that we may experience such as arm pain, soreness, redness but also some people get headaches some people experience fatigue and some people just overall don't feel very good the first 24 hours. However, my nurse specifically has told me that the second dose has far wider and more severe side effects. I wouldn't say it's fatal or anything, but it, it is more annoying on the second dose. So she instructed me that when I do get the second dose, then I have to take the next day off because a lot of people don't have that good of side effects to go to work uh, after the second dose. She also gave me this card here provided by the CDC. I'm only showing the back because it has my personal information in the front, but um, this card tells you what date you got the vaccine, but also the batch number of the vaccine that you received for the day. And you take this card with you when you get your second dose. Actually, we were able to schedule our second dose right after we got our first dose. And once we have both doses, we're fully vaccinated and this is actually sent to the CDC to show them who has been vaccinated so far and gather data on vaccinated patients. As far as the shot itself, honestly, it didn't really hurt at all. The needle was actually pretty small. It's intramuscular. So if you do have a lot of muscle here, it's not going to hurt at all, really. So it just felt like a pinch. I mean, I would even say it hurt less than a pinch. And after that, we were told to sit and wait for 15 minutes to make sure that no one was experiencing any allergic reactions because there is a small amount of people who have developed allergic reactions to the vaccine, but it's so minimal. But they just wanna be extremely careful because we're in the first phase of giving out this vaccine to the mass public. 
So I waited 15 minutes, I chat with my friends that were in there. There was a lot of medical students getting the vaccine that day. And it was pretty like, pretty normal, pretty average. I still didn't develop any soreness at all. Um, it wasn't until after I went home, dropped off my friend, and then got ready to go to the gym. And after the gym, where I started feeling some side effects. Before I went to the gym, actually, I started noticing a little bit of soreness. It was maybe at a one out of 10, but I was like, I really need my gym day in. Hey y'all, it's almost 5, 5 p.m. I just finished a one hour workout at the gym. I think I got here around four and I got my shot around one and I realized that it started to get a little sore when I arrived at the gym. But it wasn't too sore so i was like okay i'll just do a um, moderate session and i did and i came back i almost felt no pain whatsoever while i was working out it didn't hinder any of my daily activities that i usually do but now that i'm back in the car and i'm talking to you all um, i do feel a little bit of soreness three hours in to my pfizer vaccine shot while i was at the gym i was able to pack, pick up pick up one of my packages and it's a huge 50 pack box of surgical masks, four layers. It's a four layer surgical mask that I was able to find, unfortunately, on Amazon. I really don't want to support Amazon, but if you all know somewhere where I can get thick four layer surgical masks other than Amazon, put it down in the link below. But um, I am looking forward to double masking even after getting the vaccine. If you've seen my previous video, I'm a huge vaccine advocate and uh, hopefully stay safe while I start rotating at the hospitals because I'm soon to start clinical rotations in July. After I went home around 5 p.m., I decided it was a good idea to take a shower, but before I took a shower, I actually took a picture of my shoulder to see if there was any redness. I mean, I'm a person of color, so it's harder to see redness, but I honestly didn't see anything in that image that I took, and my arm soreness had gone, gone up to a three out of four, but I was still able to do everything. I took a shower. I did remember though, before, right before I went in the shower, I put my hand over my shoulder and I realized it was getting warm. So uh, there was definitely an inflammatory reaction that was happening at the time. I didn't really feel anything else until I made my next vlog update and here it is. Hey y'all, it's 10 p.m. and my arm really hurts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it actually feels like an influenza shot. The flu shot gives me the worst shoulder pains whenever I get it. So this is at like flu shot level. Earlier on in the day, it was like slightly sore, not that bad. But in the last two hours from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., the shot got a lot more tender and a lot more painful. And it's actually pretty warm over the injection site. So... Um, it's not terrible, obviously it feels a lot like the flu, but keeping you updated. So before my arm started hurting, actually I had a better experience with this vaccine than the flu shot. I actually get really bad reactions from the flu shots every now and then. I almost always get severe pain on my shoulder. It goes to up to maybe a 5 to 6 out of 10. And there has been years where I've gotten the sh flu shot and I had flu-like symptoms the day after. So at this point in time, my pain ranges were up to the point of how I usually have the flu shot. But then something really interesting happened right after I made that video. I started getting a little bit of stomach cramps and it wasn't painful, but it was definitely uncomfortable and I was belching a lot. It felt like I had eaten too much fried food a few hours earlier and I was just belching and belching and belching. My stomach wasn't feeling that good, but I wasn't nauseous. I saw that for common side effects, some people do feel nauseous, but I didn't get that at all. I got a bit of stomach discomfort to the point where I was a little annoyed, but it didn't impede on my daily activities for the day. I just had to sit down for a while when it was really bad. Hey everyone, it's almost 1 a.m. and I'm up because I'm making dumpling filling uh, for a Lunar New Year event. But a quickie update on my vaccine progress right now. When I first started getting the arm pain, I said it was very slight. It didn't really feel like anything at all. It was like maybe at a one. Right now, I would say ah, it's at a solid four. four it feels like a really bad day at the gym. Like you are recovering from working out your shoulders way too much 
more than you should have. Also, since 10 p.m. Um, tonight, I've been having a pretty bad tummy ache. Um, I had to take some antacids and um, some ginger lemon tea. But luckily, the tummy ache isn't completely terrible. I am surviving and um, looking forward to the next day to see what kind of side effects I will have. Hey y'all, so it's around 10 a.m. We're almost at the 24 hour mark since I've gotten my injection. Update on last night and my little tummy ache. I took some acetaminophen before bedtime and that seemed to completely eliminate any sort of discomfort that I did have. That's what the nurse actually told me to do if I have any tenderness or discomfort and it did work. However, in the middle of the night, I started getting stomach cramps again because the acetaminophen wore off. So if you do get any form of stomach cramping, which is very unusual, I haven't really heard of that from a lot of people, uh, definitely take some acetaminophen because the antacid I used before didn't really help. The, the acetaminophen definitely did. And when I woke up this morning, uh, my stomach still felt a little um, uncomfortable but not like terrible. So I'm gonna go eat breakfast and um, see where we're at. So after my first like 16 hours around 10 a.m. the next day, I still had a bit of discomfort after making that video about my stomach cramps overnight. However, I will say that Norse was absolutely right in the fact that when you take acetaminophen, it helps tremendously with any side effect that you have. I actually took an antacid before I took the acetaminophen, waited a few hours, didn't really find any benefit to the antacid, but the acetaminophen actually worked really well and I was able to sleep pretty soundly until the acetaminophen wore off and I was just too lazy to go back into the kitchen and take another dose. I just tried to sleep through it and I was belching a lot, but and with a little bit of discomfort. After I made that video at 10 a.m., I made breakfast and it was pretty usual. I was able to eat my breakfast. It was a pretty heavy breakfast too. I think I had dumplings or something. And I didn't feel any discomfort while eating, but after eating, I felt that stomach discomfort again, but to a much lesser degree than it was the night before. It was maybe at maybe a two out of 10 out of my discomfort range. Hey y'all, it's officially been 20 four hours since I got my COVID-19 vaccine from Pfizer and I'm doing pretty well. I feel good. My stomach's feeling better. I really do think that Tylenol does help a lot with any form of side effects that you might have with the COVID-19 vaccines, but I feel great. I'm actually sore in my legs because yesterday I did leg day more than how sore I am on my shoulder where um, they injected me. So it's been really good. I've been feeling good, nothing else to report. And hopefully I will update you tonight to see if there's any changes. For the rest of the day after my first 24 hour mark after 1 p.m. The, the following afternoon on February 6th, I was feeling really good. My arm pain went down to like zero-ish. And also my leg pains after leg day was like at a five out of 10. So you can see that like I was feeling a lot, a lot better. My stomach finally felt okay. My stomach finally felt okay. And I was back to being, ha I was back to having a normal stomach and no other problems when it came to eating. And I was able to go about my day like no one's business. I studied for my exams. I studied with my friends over Zoom and yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, at night, I didn't have time to film because I was just so tired, honestly, because of studying. So I just take, took an L and didn't do a nighttime update, but I was fine. I was able to sleep fine. I didn't even have to take any more Tylenol after that 1 p.m. mark, after the first 24 hours. And I ended up making a video vlog update the following morning, right before the 48 hour mark. Good morning, everyone. We are almost at 46 hours of officially getting the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. I'm feeling pretty good. My stomach did act up a little bit again last night right before bed. But this morning, I just had like a plate of dumplings for breakfast. Yes, I do love dumplings for breakfast. And it was fine. It's doing well. It's doing great. And my arm pain, non-existent. It's like I had a one. It only hurts if you like really press on it. At almost 40 eight hours all the symptoms are pretty much gone but i will update you one last time 
the 48 hour mark. Like you've seen in that video overnight, I did get a little bit of cramping, but I didn't really need Tylenol and I slept fine. I woke up the next day and my stomach felt great. I did talk to my fiance about this and they, they've actually been in a COVID vaccine trial, a new vaccine that's being produced. I can't speak too much about it because they're in the research trial, but they told me that they got stomach cramps too about a week and a half ago when they got their first shot. So although stomach cramps are a bit unusual, it might be because that we share the same environment or the same cuisines in our household that made us more predisposed to stomach cramps as a side effect. Now, I could also say that it was purely coincidental that I got stomach cramps the day I got my vaccine. It was purely coincidental that my partner got stomach cramps the day they got the vaccine. But I did look into it, into the research, and there are some people that have gotten stomach cramps, but it's very rare. So I do think it's both an environmental slash something else that's causing me and my partner to get stomach cramps as a side effect, I don't think everyone would get it. I mean, it's just not proven by the research as of yet to be a high likelihood side effect. So I do want everyone to know that I did experience stomach cramps, but it wasn't that bad, honestly. It's definitely better than getting diarrhea or food poisoning. It wasn't that bad at all. It was just something annoying that I had to deal with for 24 to 36 hours. Hey everyone, it's officially 24, no not 24, 48 hours since I got my dose one of the Pfizer vaccine and I'm doing great, I'm doing well. Honestly, I feel just as good as I was when, before I got the vaccine. So everything is looking good for the first dose, stay tuned for the second dose. And when I get that second dose, I'll be vlogging and retelling my entire month on the COVID vaccine trials, all right? Peace. So there you all have it. That's my first 48 hours after my first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Nothing severe, nothing crazy. I mean, I was fine. I feel great. Honestly, it was a huge burden off my shoulders when I got the vaccine. I know I'm in a very privileged position to be able to get the vaccine and to have it provided to me for free. And hopefully the current administration and the White House allows everyone to get the vaccine eventually for no charge at all. I am very aware of my privileged status right now to be able to get this and become be in the first wave of the vaccine rollout process. But I also want any anyone who is trying to be careful of whether or not they should get the vaccine to know that it's perfectly fine, perfectly normal to experience a little bit of side effects, but you'll be fine, you'll be great after that first 48 hours. I felt great the week after. I mean, it's been officially a week and one day since I got the vaccine and I feel great. I'm, I'm as good as ever, except less susceptible to COVID. So please go out there, get the vaccine if it's available to you. And I hope my video has helped you out. That's it for this week's video. Please like, subscribe, share this video with someone who may benefit from it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life. And I'll see you on the next one. And I will definitely be sure to update you on my one month vaccination experience. This is Ben.